Hello, this is Venti and you're watching Sofia tonight. Exclusively this time we decided to do our show in English because we've got so many English speaking friends here in Sofia. And also because when he came tonight here to film the movie, we met Jason at the reception of uh, the network co-working space in Rakowska. So apparently he's working here and he's a host here in this uh, uh, club. And uh, I've invited him to be a co-host of our show tonight. Hello Jason, how are you? Yeah, my name is Justin, but I'm feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, I knew that I'm gonna mistake it. I'm, I'm so sorry, I apologize. No worries, you've done nothing wrong. <laughs> so, uh, where do you come from? I come from the UK. And for how long have you been living in Sofia? I've, I've been here for two and a half years. Why? What keeps you here? I've got family here, but I've got other selfish reasons to be here too. Nice. What are the selfish reasons? Mostly business and ambition. Perfect, I like that. So thank you for accepting my invitation to be a co-host of our show tonight. Thanks for um, the invitation. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, he was not really sure what's going to be his role as a co-host. He's going to be answering questions or he's going to be asking questions. But apparently, if he wants, he could ask something. Uh, because we've got another guest here tonight. Uh, this is Stefka, with whom we met for the first time tonight, but not occasionally. We've got an appointment, basically, because of this. Have you heard of uh, Sofia Game Night? I hadn't heard before, uh, like a week or two ago, when a friend of mine contacted me and told me, uh, look, there is a special event coming up in Sofia, you should take a look at it. And that's why Stefka is actually here, because she's part of the organizers of this event. So Stefka, uh, thank you for uh, coming here. Tell us, uh, is this the first edition of Sofia Game Night? No, it's the second edition of Sofia Game Night, which started last year as an initiative by Goethe Institute, where I work at, and uh, ESL Bulgaria. So, um, it's an event, it's one night event, uh, with over 40 events uh, on 30 different locations in the whole city of Sofia. From the city centre, through Mwadus, the Poligona and Puduene, and we have, as I said, over 40 events and we're super proud of all our participants and partners of this event and we expect to have, again, a really great night of gaming. I assume there's going to be different types of games, but could you please give us some ideas what mm -hmm. in particular could be this 40 events, because that's a lot, 4-0 four, four is that, yes? Yeah. It's not 1-4, four, 4-0. Four 4-0, zero. Four zero, yeah, yeah. And I can also show... So. This is our poster. Oh. So, what's the, so, what's um, the most can... interesting for you in this program? Okay, let me just tell you, we have four different programs. We have a program for electronic games, for analog games or board games, a children's program and a special program. And what's uh, the special program the about? The special program is uh, for events that are co-produced by us as organizers and uh, that were supported also by the Goethe Institute, the French Institute and the uh, French-German Cultural Fund. And uh, these are all projects that uh, experiment with the format of games. So uh, in this program we have various events which are political, social, uh, artistic and uh, very experimental. I, I can give some examples, for example, um, we, have, uh, we have an event uh, called uh, Art is Not a Puzzle, which uh, is organized by uh, the Gallery Co-op and uh, it's uh, a social project with, uh, with refugees. Then uh, we also have a Games Night, uh, which is uh, basically a game dedicated to the history of LGBTQ people and will be hosted by a drag queen. And um, at the Goethe Institute you can see an exhibition of, um, of uh, social and political games which were created uh, at uh, eight game jams uh, uh, organized by the Goethe Institute around the world in Mexico, Jakarta and uh, and uh, six more cities all around the world and uh, these game jams got, to, uh, got together um, gamers, game developers and artists to, uh, to work on various political topics from, I don't know, from militarism to um, many, many different uh, and uh, the refugee crisis and so on. So, uh, Sofia Game Night is of course for, uh, for having a nice night by playing games, but it's also about experimenting with the format of games, because games is not only entertainment, games uh, can be also used for education, that's why we also have this huge and amazing program for uh, children. 
Uh, we have uh, various events for children where they can learn, for example, how to program, how to create their own uh, video game, how to create uh, or uh, to, to learn more about esports. We even have an event which is for children and their parents. And the hey, parents. That's can... such a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, because uh, earlier we talked with you about uh, about uh, esports and what a huge industry that is, and many people have wait a second. Yeah, I'm not that in. What is this esports about? Well, esports are basically like uh, PlayStation. We... Yes, for example, this is these are video games that uh, that. Uh, uh, are played professionally and um, uh, just before we started I, I just wanted to check all data I know and so on so I checked on in, on the internet and I saw that for 2019 uh, there were over 450 million viewers viewers around the world of esports event and the and the industry gained over 1 billion dollars for 2019 so that's a huge industry and uh, Basically, video games are, are much, much more than just uh, some teenagers playing uh, at home and their parents get angry that they're constantly on the computer. I'm curious, for example, if I'm mm -hmm. a foreigner, as Justin is, mm -hmm. is Justin right? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, can I go through all the events? The, uh, the, the game night is not designed in a way that you should go through like That's pretty pretty ambitious. so many events you should pick like one or two or there is yeah. a special like route where people can move to in order to see more of it within the night well uh, of course it's completely impossible to visit all events because they're spread around the whole city that's why our spe special recommendation is that uh, you make your own tour in advance and that you check the program and just select the events that you're most interested in uh, but uh, just because we know how hard it would be for people to make their choice we have a partnership with a taxi company taxi stars and uh, we're offering uh, a promotion code so you can travel by taxi not for free but uh, with a a huge discount that's so, so that's, sweet uh, yeah that's a nice opportunity and that's... my personal recommendations would be um, uh, two rooms in a boom in, in ha 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 Impro theater with um, uh, Leonid Tiovchev and uh, that's a nice game role play game no cards no uh, no there are cards uh, it's like role play game in which up to 60 people can uh, participate in um, also, another another event from the, uh, from a the special... A role-play game for up to 60 people? Yes, yes. That so, sounds just imagine, promising. Up to 60 people can gather and they divide in two rooms and each person gets a role. And uh, so they are divided into, into teams and uh, these are complete strangers or could be complete strangers and they uh, must very quickly find their own team dynamic and win, uh, and win the game. Um, another, another very interesting uh, event is, um, is uh, Private Utopias, which is a sensory immersive theater uh, organized by, uh, by the uh, Sensory Theater Sofia. And for I really want to go to this yeah, one. You're very welcome. There are still some free places, but you have to... Should you uh, book your place in advance? Yes. And yes. will it be in English? Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think it's also fine for for people who are not okay. who don't. Speak I've been to several English. several uh, labyrinths, and they basically mm. don't use any specific language. There's yeah. not so much talking. It's about the experience, yeah. Yeah. but you need to register in advance because the starting point is not known. So in order to find out which is the starting point. Uh, you need to register and after that you got an email. Nice, um, nice. So uh, about the events which are um, fine for, uh, for foreigners, um, basically these are all uh, games which are mostly uh, also in English and uh, most probably you go somewhere and, uh, and you can play with the others as soon as they yeah. also speak English, but in Sofia luckily this is the case mostly, uh, but uh, some other events that are um, that are definitely uh, uh, definitely accessible also for English speakers are all the events uh, in Goethe Institute where we have the games made in BG, 
which is an expo. Like imagine, so Sofia is one of the biggest hubs for uh, for the gaming industry in the Balkans. In Sofia, there are over 40 various companies from big companies, mid companies, and small independent studios, studios and uh, game developers. And uh, forty we, companies, yeah, for game and more, development and here. more. Wow. Only, only in the only in the digital uh, gaming industry, and in so and um, and in Sofia Game Night at the Goethe Institute, we gather. Uh, uh, I think 40 exhibitors, so uh, 40 companies that create uh, video games and board games and you can come and see all the gaming industry of Sofia in just uh, in, in our space. And uh, every exhibitor like can... exhibition, wow! Yeah, like, like, a, like, like a normal expo and you can see and uh, meet the people who are making these games, maybe even try some of the games so that that's fine for foreigners. What else? Our after party. Of course, ah, you don't need ah, to know ah. Bulgarian or English. Just come to our after party, which is at uh, the Rida stage, the new, spa the new space of uh, the Rida Dance Company. Um, and uh, we will start uh, with an experimental performance. And after that, continue with, uh, with electronic music made by machines or made for video games and uh, interactive uh, Street Fighter. Interactive street fight, what does that mean? Uh, interactive play. Will there be the violence? Street... Mm, no. uh, that's a particular <laughs> game, Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah, Street Fighter okay. is a game. Uh, no are you no a gamer violence. Interested? Not at all. I mean, I, I have done, but I, and it's not that I don't enjoy it, but I, I do my best to stay away from all video games. Um, I, I, I don't want to find myself playing them again. Then Sofia Game Night is for you. <laughs> As I said, Sofia Game Night is not only for the hardcore gamer, uh, hardcore gamers. Sofia Game Night is also for the people who always say, I'm not a gamer. Just do you have any more questions to our guest? Um, I, have, I have no more questions. I just think it's really interesting that games have become something for technology, uh, for education, because when I was a kid, it was, it was just what you know kids did to have fun. And the idea of being a professional video gamer mm was a complete fantasy and a ridiculous idea that a child will have, but now it's a reality for a lot of people to become a professional video gamer. Although it still sounds slightly ridiculous to me, it's totally true. Yeah. Mm. It's a whole hidden um, reality. The big industry could, is going to keep growing. We could dive into or at least look at in this day as well. Sweet, thank you very much you both and uh, I'll be really um, but if you could uh, give uh, us a feedback, if you'd like to, if you'd like us to do the show in English from now on, thank you, and uh, stay tuned on Instagram, Sofia Tonight, where we daily try to announce the best uh, parties and concerts and events that we see in Sofia, for you to be up to date on what you're able uh, to do in Sofia today. So have a good week, uh, enjoy your time, and see you next week. Bye bye.